Thumper Guy. Thumper Guy. Okay, I haven't seen these guys play before. It's been a minute for me, but uh, seriously, every single... <laughs> we have to fight traffic and overpopulation and, and expensive living, but we get a lot of tournaments. Like, every single day we have one. So that is something to be grateful for yeah. at the very least. I meet someone new every day at these tourneys. Yeah, same and here. Same here. Whether they like me or not, that's a different story. But I do meet <laughs> someone new. Yes, absolutely. All right. So, game one is going to be Joker versus Pokemon Trainer on PS2, of course. As Coney always says, PS2 makes the best games. Oh, yeah. I call it democratically elected because everyone's so uh, cordial about going there. Oh, okay. Going straight off with the counter. Okay. He's almost at, uh, <laughs> basically almost at, uh, at uh, Arsene. Yeah, already halfway there. I think... Squirtle has such great combo potential, but the problem with his bread and butters, of course, is that when you finish one of those long combo strings, you'll just give Joker Arsene for free. As we see right here, he gets up to like 50, 60%, and he already has Arsene. Yep, the way that I see it is he's always almost at Arsene. It's never not close. Okay, switching. That's a smart switch as well. And he gets right back into the center as well with that side B. Sometimes you just use it for maneuvering, and it's great. All nice right, snare. I love the use of Nair there. That Nair right there was enough to knock Arsene out of Kira. Ooh. And that down air, the sour spot, killing off of this side. Uh, pretty great start for a Thumper guy. Yeah, they did a, a, a lot of uh, a lot of nice things to Charizard in the past. They've been buffing him pretty well. Ooh. Okay, and he's avoiding the counter. That's always good. And I like that decision as well to switch to Squirtle because you're switching to a much smaller target, so it kind of makes him shift his focus a little bit. I feel like there are two kinds of uh, Pokemon trainer mains. I think there are the mains that will just sti stay with Charizard at these really high percentages, and then there are some mains that will like keep on switching between these their Pokemon to mix the opponent up. I Thumper think that's a good idea. Yeah. And it's basically a second air dodge if you think about it, so it's, it's a nice little uh, tool to utilize. And Ooh. it's pretty much even now. That's the scary part about Joker. Blink and you miss it, and you take 76% out of nowhere. All right, yeah, now it's time to capitalize on that Arsenless Yokair. Let's go. All and right. I like the spacing with the back air. It's definitely uh, putting Joker into a bad position. But now Joker's in a great position. Whoa, not quite. Not patient enough. Okay, reads the tech in place with a dash attack. Tries to end it all with the forward smash. Another one for... That was well-spaced as well, but, uh, yeah, it just has too much lag on it. <laughs> and he stayed underneath the platform to try to avoid the gun, and somehow he still got hit. It's yeah, Joker downward gun is quite something. It's, oh, yeah. it's really hard to get past. It's, and also, it's hard to get past that back air. Yeah, and there's no end lag either on that gun either. And we got the taunt. Are we going to see a taunt to get body here? Uh, I'm curious. It's happened before. It could certainly happen here. Let's hope uh, Kira hasn't cursed himself with that cocky taunt. Okay, switching over to the uh, Ivysaur. Oh, okay, that was a well-intentioned up B, but uh, didn't quite take it. I think he has to be uh, very yeah. cognizant of these counters. Yeah, it's not doing him any services. I think Kira is just super aware of the kind of move Thumper Guy is going to throw out. I, he has a great awareness of what Thumper Guy wants to do to get the kill, and he has been taking advantage of that, I'd say. Yeah, and I think it's a, a lack of conditioning for the shield as well. There's that grab of only when it counts, right? There we go. I feel like he could have killed with, like, any of his throws there. Oh, yeah, big time. Big oh, time. another taunt. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I like how he's getting off of the platforms there, just trying to get back into the neutral. Okay, now it's Squirtle time. Oh, wow. Okay, so he didn't get the, a grab off of it, but he did get a strike off of that up B. Yeah, the, the grappling hook has a grabbing hitbox, but it also has a hitbox that will send you slightly upward. And I've seen that that sort of, I guess you could call it the sour spot of the grappling hook. It can kill off the top if you're really high up there. Mm. Okay, nice bullet seed. Uh, an underutilized move in my opinion. Very good for anti-airing, and it kind of sucks you in, even uh, horizontally. Nice forward tilt as well. Yeah, those tippers. Charizard has tippers oh, for days. that is the freest punish. That, that's one of the scariest things about are, or probably one of the worst things about Arsene is that recovery. There's a lot of end lag if you land on stage with it. Mm. And without a hitbox with it, it's a lot easier to edge guard. So Thumper Guy 
taking great advantage of that opportunity, stealing away that game one. And the thing about uh, Jokers are sent up B, it's like there's not really a whole lot of mix-up opportunities, correct me if I'm wrong, but like you can't do like the pit a la go to the side, you know, go horizontally. You always have to go downwards into something of an arc. So it's like, oh, gee, I wonder how he's going to recover. It's pretty simple. And his air dodge isn't like nest tier good, so it's kind of hard to really mix it up there. Yeah, so looks like they're taking a moment to decide their stages. Here looking for some kind of a counter pick. I wonder what he would choose. Maybe looks like Kalos. Hmm. Uh, well, Joker does have a wall jump, if I'm not mistaken. So that would be kind of to his favor, I think. And the side platforms, I suppose that would allow, allow Joker to go out farther. Mm -hmm. Perhaps go for, like... Deeper edge guards, perhaps? I, I like to think of it as like this whole Meta Knight syndrome where it's like Meta Knight really loves the stage because of where the platforms are located. You know, you're able to kill them off the top really quick because they're right close to the blast zones. And I think Joker has a bit more in terms of ladders than uh, Pokemon Trainer. I mean, Ixnaying Squirtle. But Squirtle isn't really known for killing off the top unless you're considering a B. That's more of a s killing off the side option than yeah. killing off the top. And yeah, that's indeed. like when you want to end it all, like go for the <laughs> really risky strat. Oh, yeah. All right, on to this game two, though. We're going to see an up throw missing the standard friend butters. Maybe it's because of uh, Squirtle's hurt box there? I think so. He's, he's a very tiny target. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I like that uh, side B, getting himself out of that trouble. Makeshift combos. That's what I like about Squirtle. All of his combos are so nice and makeshift. You can just do pretty much whatever you feel like, get at least 30% or so. Yeah, like Squirtle's hits all around are fairly weak in comparison to the other two Pokemon on Pokemon Trainer's team. But the benefit to that, of course, is not like racking up combos or the being able to do what he just did there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think another thing about Squirtle, too, is that he has very little range, so you have to get up into people's faces, and uh, he's like the third lightest in the game, right? So that's risky. Nice. He has the speed to make up for it all, though. Yeah, last game I noticed it was like Kira and like figuring out or predicting when some guy went for like a really greedy kill option. Now I feel like it's the other way around where Kira's trying to throw out strong moves in order to quickly secure the kill and Thumper guy is totally ready for that and yeah. completely taking advantage of that. Yeah, and I think uh, Kira's uh, counter mechanics hasn't really been helping him out as much, but uh, give him some time and he might be able to fix upon that. Oh. Great down air. Oh, he waits it out. That's so smart from the Thumber Guy adapting on the fly. Absolutely. Okay, getting the shot. Okay, very nice. And there's no end lag on that gun whatsoever. So you basically have to wait for whatever option he throws out next. Yeah, it's downward gun. <laughs> Pretty annoying to deal with, honestly. Absolutely. And this also works in Joker's favor because uh, Pokemon Trainer can't hide underneath any platforms without already being close to death zone. So I think this is a smart pick. Yeah. Yep, has to recover low pretty much every time. Reading the roll on stage with the forward smash, and you know, the pullback on Ivy Sword's forward smash helped a little there as well, I'd say. Mm. All right, and Squirtle getting all of these little hits bit by bit, securing this lead. Arsen is out, but honestly, I'm not even worried for Thumb Dry. He's like at low percents. There's not much that Joker can do unless he's able to just, you know, take one hit get a mile off of it. I think it's a matter of uh, Kira picking his battles. It's like, that seems to be a problem that many people have. It's like when you are losing and you just don't want to admit it, so you have to be able to pick those battles properly. And right now, okay. All right, that's the last RSN hit he's going to get. And most likely, unless Thumper Guy really struggles to get the hit kill, that's gonna be the last Arsen for Kira. So he's gonna have to make this comeback with Solo Joker. Can be done, it can be done. If he gets these counters off, uh, then we may see another Arsene. Okay, there's a oh, death right there. there. Okay, and Squirtle likes to go ham, so if there was any time to counter, now would be it. Oh, he, there's one, but Thumper Guy doesn't contest it. I like how we did it on the platform. Uh, that's a pretty smart idea, considering that uh, you're basically in a bad spot if you're on a platform. Okay. And I like how Kira's playing a little more patient now. He's not really 
forcing the comeback. He's just sort of taking the punishes as he can get them. He's not like going for anything too risky. He yeah. just sees his opportunity and he takes advantage of it. Yeah, it almost looks like Thumper Guy just wants to end this and that uh, impatience might be the death of him. All right. All right, great wait from Thumper Guy. Okay, back throw, that won't seal the kill, but it's a great edge guarding opportunity for Thumper Guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bit of a bold option. Almost works out for him though. Yeah, it worked for him last time. I don't see why he wouldn't. Okay. Oh, not quite getting the ladder that he wanted, but he's almost at Arsene, and, and he's at Arsene. There's Arsene, and this is probably the worst oh. position for Kira to get Arsene. Yeah. Thumper guy, he had such a lead, and then it's just slowly crumbled away. It wasn't like he was teased out of it or anything. It's just like step by step, Kira slowly climbed his way back up, and in the end, he managed to make it come through and bring this to a game three. Yeah, I, I think a lot of the impatience uh, was exhibited during the Ivysaur on that final stock because I saw him trying to land with like Razor Leaf and it's just like, I just want to end this. It's like, no, 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 Kira's waiting for you. Yes, absolutely. This is just the first set of the day and already we're seeing such great gameplay between these two players. No, no poor rookie mistakes, I'd say. No like unfortunate SDs, no Not yet. just, no, dumb decisions per se it's just like it's, these two are very good players simply put i, I think socal is a super strong region overall and i think even the players who go o2 here have a lot of potential in oh yeah places. yeah the, the way that i see it is you go o2 one week it's probably not going to be your last time doing that but uh, we come here to grow okay Game three between Kira and Thunder Guy. This time we are switching to Town and City. Uh, another place where you can hide from Joker guns, so he's gonna have to adapt in some other way. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. He can just retreat to the platforms and that makes it much harder for Kira to approach with downward guns. Oh, I'm surprised that down smash didn't connect for Squirtle. I, I think that that's one thing about Squirtle having disjoints on his uh, smashes. They're very small, very tiny. Okay, no nice shield grab. Whoa, that could have been some cheesy stuff happening right there. Oh, Nair sends the other way. Kind of unfortunate them for a thump guy, but nothing too bad. He still has a great lead, mm -hmm. and just about to take Arsene away from Kira right here. Yeah, and we got a healthy Charizard too, and a not so healthy Joker. I don't know about up throw right now, but maybe with a little extra rage he could. And I don't see a whole lot of the abusing the out of shield option for Charizard. That seems to be like a really big way of getting kills with Charizard. Yeah, his up B out of shield is pretty decent, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, up smash as well. Up smash is only like seven frames, I believe, right. out of shield. Oh, crazy. that forward tilt yeah. was buffed, and Thumper Guy taking full advantage of that to take away that first off. Yeah, it seems like they've only been buffing the strengths of Charizard, because forward tilt would already kill you pre patch pretty early, so. It's nice that they did what they did. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Smart idea. Okay. That that's when you land that, even if it doesn't kill, that's such a huge momentum boost. Look oh, yeah. at that. He's already at 68%. Oh, I thought I was gonna see another forward smash punish. <gasps> there we go. Oh, that was unfortunate because uh, Thumper Guy had that was his battle to lose, really. He was already at the edge and everything. Okay, and he's right back to where he wants to be. Uh, I think we're okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can make it from that. Some characters, you see the air dodge off stage and you know it's just over. Joker, though, if he didn't have Arsene, if he lost Arsene right as he air dodged, that would have been the worst. Oh, that yeah. would have felt so bad for him. Oh, yeah, dead persona for sure. Oh, oh. nice, nicely done. Okay, and he got Arsene for his troubles. And here's the thing about Ivysaur in this matchup, is as soon as he gets Arsene, yeah, he, Ivysaur just does not really have the frame data. He has to do all of his safe moves, which there aren't many. Yeah, the question is, how does Thumper Guy approach Arsene here? Oh. Flare Pit's almost connected there, and that would have been the cheekiest option. I, I'm sure he's glad he didn't land on his shield, because that would have been an insta-death if uh, Joker knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, the biggest disadvantage to that Flare Blitz, obviously. If your opponent just anticipates it and shields it, that's the freest punish you can get. Oh yeah, that forward tilt missing, you see that just now? Like, barely missed him. Jap nearly killing off the top. I've never seen that before in this, in about the year that I've 
that's watching this game. It can kill, especially I think uh, Joker being as light as he is and uh, Charizard having full rage. Never mind. It would have killed. Oh, there's that taunt coming in. Okay. Doesn't even need Arsene to kill with the back air there. Back throw? Oh, no. Squirtle's got a pretty strong back throw, but uh, he wasn't in the right position in the map for that to work out. Ooh. I think this is the worst position to have Joker get Arsene. When they are so obviously at kill percent, and then they get Arsene, and suddenly they're about to kill you with maybe a back air off the side or crazy forward smash. Yep, and then the thing about Joker is that even when you kill him, he still gets like two tenths of his jo uh, his uh, Arsene back, and I, I question that, but you know what? It's something you gotta work with. All right. Ooh, barely missing it. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. okay that okay, was good. Good drift back. I like how he's covering the options with the Ega, and he's also uh, getting these up airs. He's covering a lot of options. Ooh. Yeah, Gun's not gonna stop that withdraw. Oh no, he read the down smash again. Swiftly getting out of Squirtle mode, because that would have sucked. Uh, he's definitely a kill percent. Okay. Might okay, switch on to Charizard now. Oh. Yep, there's a Charizard switch, as you said. Uh oh. Okay. He's off stage. Flare Blitz goes right over again, yeah. and that will do it. Kira, that was a reverse 2 0. So Finishing that. Mm. Man. Shame about that. <laughs> Shame about that. It uh, he, he seemed like Backer was the movie kept getting yeah, up 